Hello, I am Dr. Prakash Mahadevappa. I am a general surgeon, a senior consultant in the Department of General Surgery, Columbia Asia Hospital, Whitefield. There are three paired major salivary glands. One is the parotid glands in front of the ear, the submandibular glands below the jaw, the sublingual glands below the tongue. All these glands produce saliva which pours into the oral cavity, mixes with the food, enables the food to be masticated and digested. These glands secrete the saliva into the mouth through ducts called as salivary ducts. Now, the one of the commonest causes for the salivary block is the stones in the salivary ducts. When the exit gets blocked, the salivary secretions back up into the gland and cause salivary gland swelling. This is typically happens when the patient eats and gives rise to severe pain in the area of the obstructed or the blocked salivary glands. These stones are formed de novo and is because of build up of this crystallized saliva. This ducts when they get blocked give rise to this uh, salivary secretion and may subsequently get infected giving rise to sialadrenitis or inflammation of the salivary glands. These are surgical conditions which need surgical treatment to relieve them of their blocks. As far as malignancy is concerned, clinical examination apart from a good clinical examination which may throw some suspicion about the swelling in the region of the salivary glands, we further proceed with what you call as a CT scan or an MRI evaluation of the head and neck region and whenever required an image guided fine needle aspiration cytology that is tissue or examination under microscope which will tell us whether it is malignant or not, whether it is a cancer or not.